Hey there guys, this is BS, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Sony Vegas Pro 11 for free on 32-bit and 64-bit. Uh, you're going to need two programs for this tutorial. You only need Renoir for 32-bit, so if you're on 64-bit, you won't need it, but you need uTorrent for 64-bit um, and 32-bit alike. First thing you want to do is go to uTorrent.com and click Get uTorrent right here. Next thing you want to do is go to Google and type in WinRAR and click the second link. And when you find that, you will find uh, a bunch of different languages and 64 bit and 32 bit. Uh, you can just click English and you should download it. Next thing you want to do is go to the piratebay.se and do a pirate search for. Sony Vegas Pro 11 and then you want to click order by SE Cedars and 32 bit download should be the first one uploaded by Robin Hood at 197.56 megabytes and then the 64 bit download is uploaded by Anacondas with a Z at 211.25 megabytes and I'm going to be running through both of them. Uh, first one will be 32-bit and after you're done downloading it you will be redirected to uTorrent and I downloaded both of them. They should take um, probably 10 minutes max. Uh, I'm on a rather slow connection so it took about 13 minutes total and then um, on 32-bit and 64-bit. Um, I'm running through 32-bit right now, but um, to install it on 32-bit you need to go to open containing folder and you should get a RAR file right here um, and then you want to right click it and click extract here and it will pop up with this. Um, you won't get the confirm file replace, you'll only get this right here and after it's done you'll get a folder and you should have these three things and first thing you want to do is right click uh, run as administrator I can't run through it because I'm on 64 bit but you want to right click run as administrator run through the trial and after it's done you do not make sure you do not start up Sony Vegas Pro 11 and you come into the patch right click run as administrator and it should play this strange music and whatnot. just click patch and um, if it doesn't re it, I'm told that it might not work or that it'll ask you where to find your Sony Vegas Pro 11 and by default it is in your hard drive program files and under Sony and then Sony Vegas Pro 11 and then find the Vegas file and now I'm going to be running through the 64-bit version and all you want to do is right click the setup file and click run as administrator and choose your language click next uh, click install current version and then click next click I have read and uh, the end user license agreement privacy policy and blah 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 next and then choose your destination I recommend keeping it here it'll just be easier and you can create a shortcut just to make yourself make it a lot easier for yourself I should say and just click install and it should be pretty fast mine installs pretty fast but either way I will come back to the video after it's finished Alright, now the installation is finished and should say Vegas Pro is in install, installed successfully and you just want to click finish and then you will find the multi key gen and you should have all these things in here. Uh, you might uh, be blocked by your virus protector but it's the file is perfectly fine. Uh, just make sure you run as administrator on the key gen and should get this. Uh, you want to choose your product name. Obviously, Vegas Pro 11 is 64-bit and 32-bit. And 
the 64 bit make sure you click patch and then you need to find the directory for your Sony Vegas uh, by default it is under program files x86 on 64 bit and if you're on 32 bit it'll just be uh, program files and then you find Sony if I could find it and then whoops wrong folder it's normal program files I apologize and then you find Sony and Vegas Pro 11, click OK. And it's going to ask you to find your shared plugins installation directory. And that's the folder that we went back to before. And I believe if you're on 64 bit, it won't ask you for shared plugins, but it might. If it does, it should be under your Sony directory. And Sony, and then shared plugins, OK. And then it should patch the files. Um, it's relatively fast. And you should get a patch successfully. And just click OK. Click uh, generate. You can generate keys. It doesn't matter. And then you want to come in and open up Vegas Pro 11.0. And you will get the serial number. And you want to just right or come in here, highlight, copy right click paste next uh, make sure you register from another computer click next next and I've already registered but um, it should ask you to register um, Yeah, you want to click register from another computer and then make sure you put in your legitimate address. Um, I don't know of any fake addresses. You could look one up, but I recommend putting in your legitimate um, things. And then you make sure you click that. And actually, I. I you might be able to just put in a fake number, I don't even know. Yeah, you can. And you can register, save the register thing on your desktop. Click Next, and you will get your activation code. Right click, copy, paste, finish, and it should start up Vegas Pro 11. Uh, and then click Exit. And you can delete this. And you're pretty much done with the tutorial. Um, it should open up Vegas Pro 11. No problemo. Uh, I will open it up to give you a quick proof, I guess you could say. And then once it's opened up, you will get associate.veg files with Vegas Pro 11. Just click yes. And you should have Vegas Pro 11. Uh, you have your effects, everything. Uh, that's it for this tutorial. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And um, I'm going to be making videos on my channel for possibly Vegas Pro, for sure Photoshop, and for sure After Effects. So um, if you want tutorials on these programs, on how to use them rather than how to get them, um, go ahead and go to my channel, the link will be in the description, and go ahead and subscribe, and I will be uploading more videos from there later on. So I will see you guys in my next video.